Hi, my name is Homebush Jr. and this is my reaction to the Nakarima Body Ritual article by Horace Minor. Uh, the first time that I read it, it was a super interesting experience for me because uh, I was beyond confused. I was going through it without even realizing the irony behind it the whole time. I was reading about these magical mouth men and I was like, oh, that seems like a dentist, but I never really made the full connection to like, oh, maybe he's actually comparing it to American culture and then he's talking about uh, the magical uh, medicine people and I was like oh wow that sounds a lot like a, a doctor but I never really thought it through all the way and uh, I think part of the reason why that's true and the part of the reason for the confusion was the diction that he chose to use while writing it whenever you use words like magical and supernatural and uh, torture and words with these strong and like aggressive and heavy connotations it makes uh, everything seem a little bit weirder and then you add that on top of the fact that he's kind of describing these actions in like their most basic terms and makes it seem like a little bit less advanced and like a little bit more barbaric when he's talking about uh, men waking up in the morning and lacerating their face uh, talking about shaving like you don't really make that connection the first time you read it and then uh, once I finally you know understood what he was trying to do and what the point of the article was when I read it through the second time it was almost comedy like reading it, uh, reading all the connections he made, and I was like, wow, like, this is really true about, uh, kind of society in America, and I think it, uh, is super huge on self-reflection and how we live in society in America today and stuff like that. One practice that takes place in America that I feel like is super, uh, unique to America is college, which I know that it takes place in a lot of other countries, but the experience is so different in America that I feel like it's almost a completely different entity than uh, you know the schooling and the experiences that you're going through when you're going to college in other countries uh, I mean just to start off with the price of admission and even get the opportunity to participate in college and get an education uh, it's out of this world in America the United States has the highest average tuition cost in the whole entire uh, world the whole entire globe uh, talking about private and public colleges and uh, looking at Americans who have even completed colleges, uh, there's 40 million who still owe student debts to this day, and 40% of those 40 million owe $50,000 plus, which is already a ton of money, and that can hold you back for an average of 20 years to pay off those student debts. And uh, I feel like that connects to U.S. cultural values, but not in a good way necessarily. Because uh, when you talk about America, you always talk about the American dream and uh, you know the opportunity for uh, the pursuit of a great life and equal opportunity but whenever you don't even have the equal op opportunity to go to college and get an education I feel like that uh, kind of holds back that ideal that America loves to preach so much uh, and just talking about some of the other differences in college when you're talking about American colleges and uh, European and foreign and you know Japanese and Chinese colleges I feel like uh, in America, it feels like college is more about the experience and less about the education. Uh, in America, you've got dorms, you've got social events, you've got events on campus, you've got um, Greek life and partying and drinking, and that's just such a huge part of the college experience in America that it almost pushes education to the back burner. And it's the same thing with sports. Like, there's not sports that are uh, you know rival rivals with professional leagues when you look at college in uh, Europe. And so I feel like college in America has a lot to improve upon compared to some of these other places uh, if they want to kind of practice what they're preaching about uh, the opportunity for success after graduating college. College in America has gone through many substantial changes over the years, just kind of starting off with the price point again. Uh, it costs 36000 on average a year to attend college whenever you had a room and board. Uh, food and meal plans and uh, housing and stuff like that and that's up three times the amount from 20 years ago good for an annual rate increase of 6.8 percent uh, according to educationdata.org which is a pretty high percentage and it's only going to continue to get higher uh, and talking about some of the the changes in college that have be, become beneficial uh, when looking at the technology and the ability to kind of take college online and not have to worry about being in person all the time for college has been big especially while going through this pandemic and then um, that the adding and the kind of normalization of some of these new majors like uh, I know me personally as a sports management major uh, that's something that you know 20 30 years ago wasn't very sought after and wasn't very important even though the first sports major uh, sports management major 
started in 1966, nobody like really took it seriously. And so when you talk about that and sports marketing and social media management, and, you know, fashion, you know, climbing up and being on a, an upward trend, I think it allows for people to work on their passions when they go to college more. We have more specific majors like that, which should hopefully increase the want for people to go to college. And then uh, another benefit that hasn't gone into effect yet, but I think will uh, in the future that I think will be huge for college is kind of the clearing and wiping of some of these student loan debts because uh, that's part of the reason why people don't want to go to college because they know how expensive it is and how uh, it's not really worth it to go to college and you know have to pay all these monies and all this money in debt and not get as much out after you graduate college so I think as that kind of gets enacted on that would be huge uh, for the college landscape. When talking about some of the potential changes to the American college climate uh, going to the first point I feel like that initially has to be detrimental when uh, talking about the price point and how uh, the price continues to climb e exponentially. But I think that that negative can kind of be canceled out with the cancellation of some of these student loan debts and it would kind of negate uh, some of the reasons why some people don't want to go through the college experience and some people don't want to get an education. Uh, the Levy Economic Institute of Board of College says that uh, a 1.4, at one time 1.4 million debt, forgis debt forgiveness would increase the country's GDP by 80 to 100 billion. So, uh, I mean, you're not just talking about the effect on people's personal lives and just opportunity for people, but you're talking about possibly growing the uh, economy as well. And uh, student debt cancellation would allow for payments and uh, payments to go to savings and other stuff instead of having to go to um, student debt which would allow for the economy to flow a lot better and stuff like that so just all economics aside just uh, getting people the opportunity to go to college more consistently by not having to worry about worrying about paying as much I feel like would really revitalize kind of some of that uh, excitement people have uh, when talking about college and adding that onto the addition of new majors and it's giving people more outlets to kind of do stuff that they're passionate about. If uh, America was kind of able to make this a possibility to where we can get people to college for cheap, we can allow people to do stuff that they want and stuff they're passionate in, I feel like it would create kind of a lot more uh, positive contributing members to society. So uh, a lot of these changes that America could go through when talking about college uh, could kind of make college more of what college is supposed to be and uh, more educational and more pushing out positive contributing members to society instead of people who come to college because their parents can pay for it and they just want to go and party and then go out after college and then you know work with their parents and stuff like that who are possibly taking away opportunities from people who don't have uh, as much money or not as uh, economically inclined.